Well, first of all, this week we had two practices in full gear, a lot of contact. So again, what we did now as we um, went out and just reviewed everything with uh, just jerseys and helmets on, you know, and, and uh, just uh, made sure that they understood. And we reviewed all the schemes and things that we're doing tomorrow and even the rotation and trying to get everybody involved and everybody playing. So I thought it was good because, again, Thursday was a good challenging practice. So coming back with this is good. And then now let's see us run around and make some plays tomorrow. I saw some players just with jerseys on. Did y'all just hold some players out? Yeah, we have a few few young men that are out, and I want them to wear their jersey anyway, but they're out because of either surgeries that they've had or, or uh, just injuries right now. So there'll be about eight guys that will be have uh, in just jerseys tomorrow but won't be able to participate in the scrimmage. Is Jordan one of them? Yes, Jordan one of them. And so it's all, it's all good. It's just protecting everybody, just making sure it's right. But that gives other kids opportunities and also gives us an opportunity to evaluate everybody properly. Uh, could you talk about what's to be the main thing you want to see tomorrow? I want to see very good competitiveness first, both sides of the ball. We're even going to do some special teams, so I want to see the ball kick properly and long snaps and all that done properly. I guess more than anything, of course, I cross my fingers always when you go real live with a lot of contact to be, uh, hopefully we come off the field, first of all, injury free. And then I just want to see uh, us, both sides of the ball, not defeat ourselves by uh, improper alignments and, and making sure just our alignments and assignments are correct. And then we're not going to try to uh, trick each other or anything like that offensively or defensively. We want to see the true athletic ability come out in these young men. As for the fans, what would you tell them that, uh, that they can, what they can expect to see? Well, they're going to see some new faces. They're going to see some new kids that came into the program. They're also going to see a bunch of kids that were redshirted last year. Many might not know how many I really redshirted, and I kind of bit the bullet some, you know, by holding a few kids out. But I know it will only help us in the future. And so uh, I think they're going to be, they're going to recognize a few numbers, maybe not the names, and they'll go, "Wow, that, that young man can play." And so it'll be a good thing for us. Yeah, nothing, you know, it won't be. It, it's not like it would be August right now. It's, it's just spring, and like there's still a lot more. You know, you guys are, are waiting to do so. You know, scheme you can't wise. come out and expect to see. You know, which yeah, like a well, August we're gonna, type of yeah, yeah, exactly. We're not game planning anything, but we are doing the base offense and the base defense. So I expect that to be sound. And uh, again, we'll have a lot of kids here because our junior days held the same time. So we'll have those young men, the prospects, uh, coming in. We'll also have a lot of the young men that we signed here. And all they're doing is chomping at the bit. Can't wait to be part of the program. First of all, what was some of your thoughts on how the team's been going uh, throughout the, this first week back from the uh, spring? Oh, well, um, we, I mean, just coming off a of break, like, you have to just re refresh your memory, get things going again, just from being able to just have some time to yourself and relax. But, we picking it up pretty nice. Everybody came out and they realized that it's a real focal point that we focus on the small things, like details now. So all the small things, every from the first beginning of spring, watching drills to now, the drills have gotten better, crisper. So I mean, it's getting, it's going in the right direction. Mm -hmm. As for you, uh, talk to Coach Tubbs. He said you'll be out tomorrow. And, uh, uh, just talk about how tough that is, not the. I mean, it's, it's 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 rough just not playing all together. I mean. I've always been like hampered with little injuries that keep me out, but I mean, I still am still here to uh, help teach and help learn. I'm still learning with the other players, so just to help them with their little mistakes, or just as far as being for the team, but I'm trying to get myself back to that. And as an upper class, that's probably what you want to do, you know, especially a lot, there's a lot of new faces out here, you know, like Chris Dubb said, a lot of guys are still getting used to their new roles. And, important is that even though you can't be out there physically, you know, you're out there mentally yelling and yeah. you know, barking directions and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's fun just being out here with my teammates all together, but as far as just having new guys around learning, it's a process for everybody. I was there at one point, everybody who further, uh, further their stuff in the program was there at one point, so they know what they're going through, how they're feeling, so it's good to just be there. How do y'all hope that whatever y'all accomplished tomorrow, how, that, how, how do y'all probably don't plan on using that as a springboard as we get ready for the summer workouts and get ready for the fall camp? Well, basically tomorrow is a, like they said, tomorrow is a test, but it's not the final. Like I'm going to say, it's a, to see where everybody's at at this point. And I mean, just to go out there and actually let loose for a few and like go live and 
get a feel for actually not playing slower because it's going third and I full contact. You, you naturally go slower and slow it down. So it's going to be fun to see some people uh, bang heads. Uh, and y'all, the fans are good to see it. You know? yeah. it's a bit, I know some fans maybe have come out the last couple weeks and watched you play, but this is the real thing. So, oh, yeah. You know, is it's there anything you want to let the fans know about oh, what they can expect to see tomorrow? Oh, just expect to see people flying around. We get a chance to actually go live. So, I mean, people have been waiting for this moment. So, a lot of players that people have been watching might have questions about coaching, might have questions about get to show their abilities tomorrow and actually go full speed. So, it should be fun.